Then there's shivering. The question is, is shivering good or bad? And clearly shivering works. It certainly makes you feel warmer. It is a great producer of metabolic heat. But the problem with shivering is that in a survival situation, for example, right now, I'm getting a little chilly. And if I started shivering, I would realize that I am expending a tremendous amount of energy to stay warm. So the first thing I do in a survival situation when I start shivering is figure out how I can prevent further heat loss and stop shivering. Now if you look at the actual heat produced in shivering, it's equivalent to a recreational jog. So there's a lot of metabolic heat output when you're shivering. But the problem with shivering is that you are inducing exercise vasodilation of your shivering muscles. Another problem with shivering most people don't realize is that as humans we can't shiver indefinitely. Most of us can only shiver for a few hours and it's a function of your cardiovascular fitness and your muscle glycogen but we have a limited ability to persist with a shivering response. And lastly we don't shiver down to extremely cold temperatures. When our core temperature drops below about 88 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, we stop shivering. There's not a lot that adult humans can do to increase thermogenesis. When we shiver, obviously, we just talked about that, but additionally, there's probably some increased tone, so-called pre-shivering tone, that may increase a little bit of our ability to produce heat. Neonates, can actually produce heat by metabolizing brown fat between their shoulder blades. But adult humans, really, other than exercising and the things we've already talked about, there's not a lot else we can do. What are goosebumps? When we get cold, a lot of us get goosebumps. And it's actually a vestigial reflex, something called piloerection. When we were fur-bearing mammals, we were able to piloerect and raise these hairs on our bodies and increase the loft of our fur. And that kept us warmer. It was like suddenly getting a more expensive sleeping bag by lofting it up. But now we're essentially hairless apes, most of us anyway, and uh, pilo erection really doesn't do much. Uh, it gives us goosebumps. If anything, it increases the surface area of our skin and may theoretically actually increase heat loss. But back in the olden days, goosebumps helped us loft up.